This is Hydrogen Tap. If you've been following my videos for a while, you note that I'm working on a cell called the Focus, which I'm going to eventually install in the Honda. I'll be taking this whole week to refine the Focus cell, and I'll be also installing the wiring harness for it and the all the hardware that's necessary to put it in the car. Note this piece right here, one on each side, which connects directly to the top instead of using wires. Another idea that I've received in the emails, more than more than a dozen emails have told me that they're using or making cells that have washers in between instead of using the system that I was using where I was threading each one of these. So I decided to take a changed look at it and do and see if that would work. So what I've done here is I've got four washers stainless steel between each one of these plates and a stainless steel screw that goes through it. So the hole that this is going through is bigger than this screw so it is not tapped. It's a real pain in the neck putting these in here but it seems to make a solid unit. The other thing that I've done on this plate, so you look real close, you'll see the cutout has two holes in it, one on the top and one on the bottom right. So each plate now has a screw that goes through both the top and the bottom. You can see how the plate looks here. This is the outside plate with the strap that goes to the top or the lid. So each one of these cells does not have this piece on it, but each one of these cells by itself, here's the back of it, each one, this is a pretty solid setup now, and let me show you again how this works. I want to thank everybody for this idea. Again, there are four stainless steel screws, stainless steel washers between each one of these leaves. And then on the bottom, you can see the same arrangement. So they're not across the top. The basic setup is that they're crisscross. In other words, there's a screw on this side and a screw on the other side. And you can see these screw holes here. There's nothing going through there. The reason for, for these extra holes here are these plates are reversible, just like all the Aaron cells. So you can reverse them so that you can make more than one plate as a positive or one more than one plate as a negative. I feel that's important. I'm not really sold on the idea whether it's working or not. I know a lot of people are still playing with that. The focus cell is going to be made so that it is serviceable and this is a serviceable pack but it is going to be set up so someone can just install it without playing with it. The basic cell is nine inches high, not including this strap on the top. 
by three inches wide. We're talking about 0 0.028 on the stainless steel, the width or thickness of the stainless steel is 0 0.028. This is the focus cell body or the tube that it's going in. The tube is basically 12 inches high. That's not including the base which is a half inch plastic here. And then we have the, foot, the feet on the bottom. If you can see it's got the water exchange port here and up on the top. What I'm going to be doing here is running water through this with a pump which is going to keep the water cool. Here on the top is that seal that I've been working with which I showed you before. It's glued down to the top on this and it really works well. I've tried all different temperatures and I've had no problem with it at all. Uh, I'm going to be showing you each step of the way until it gets and then after it gets into the car setup. I'll show you the mileage on the car and we'll work from there. Hopefully we'll have a working unit by next week that will be running tests in the Honda. Again, if you want to email me at johnarons at hydrogentaptap.com, I answer all my email. Or you can go to my site, hydrogentap.com. Always glad to hear from anybody. If you have an important question, uh, please be feel, feel free to ask me. I'll try to answer the best I can.